It went silent for months. The most distant object made by humans in history, Voyager 1, was lonesomely drifting in the abyss, transmitting nothing but gibberish. Forty-five years later, groundbreaking research appeared. The journey had come to an end. Until now, the signal came suddenly, returned clear, consistent, impossible, and the data it brought with it has shocked scientists. An award-winning physicist has published a chilling warning, this alters everything. We might be focusing on something that shouldn't exist. What has Voyager 1 found at the edge of the space between stars? And why do certain experts say that this could be the key to gaining access to the greatest cosmic mystery of all? Keep following us because this is not simply a mission in space. This could be the initial communication from the unknown. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was built to last a few years, maybe a decade. Instead, it has survived 45 years in the most hostile setting possible. It flew past Saturn and Jupiter and then was flung outward by gravity into deep space beyond the pull of the planets. What then? Not only genius engineering made this mission possible, but a cosmic coincidence that happens once every 176 years. A perfect alignment of the planets, allowing engineers to slingshot Voyager from one place to another with gravity, conserving energy and propelling it further and faster than ever envisioned. They called it the Grand Tour, and it was successful. Now, Voyager 1 is over 14 billion miles from Earth, traveling in an area no other human signal had ever reached before until Voyager sent one back. And just what it sent is not scientifically valid. After months of corrupted data, something changed. Voyager 1 began transmitting readable information again. This time, the data were not merely strange, they were impractical. Scientists observed unusual fluctuations in the plasma, changes in magnetic fields, as well as an unexpectedly high density of particles. But the most shocking part, these readings are not acting in any way we've ever measured in interstellar space. According to one physicist, it's like the spacecraft is now beyond the solar system. It comes from somewhere entirely else. What's more, the direction of the cosmic rays and all the directions of magnetic lines are misaligned, appearing too cross with Voyager 1 into a brand new kind of space without a model yet to be explained by interstellar physics. It is as if the regulations of the real world are shifting. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the sun's outermost boundary, it entered what scientists believed was empty interstellar space. However, the data now indicate that this region is not empty at all. Voyager is detecting plasma waves, turbulence, and storms of charged particles that appear to lack a reliable source. Worse still, there are gravitational anomalies. The spacecraft seems to drift slightly, mysteriously, as though influenced by forces we can't detect. It isn't being dragged by stars or striking asteroids. So, what's causing this subtle but measurable motion? Some now consider Voyager to have entered a liminal space, a transitional region between the truth and what we know beyond, a location where our laws of physics may no longer apply. The majority of the scientific community remains wary. They study, observe, and debate. But now, a well-known Nobel Prize-winning physicist has made a rare, unsettling statement. Voyager 1 is detecting patterns that are incompatible with our current universe models. We may be seeing evidence of another domain and additional space structure itself. He did not mention calling it another dimension, but many are already wondering if Voyager 1 might be brushing against the edge of something entirely different a boundary of the multiverse, a simulated space, or even the fringes of an unknown cosmic structure. Imagine among the new data, scientists discovered a fluctuation in the rhythm, a pulse coming from a region Voyager 1 recently traversed. This indicator is not the background noise of nature. It's timed, structured, and repeated. Initially dismissed as an error or interference in the instruments, the pattern, however, was consistent matching a star that is not a known phenomenon. It wasn't from a pulsar not a quasar, and not from any known source of radiation. After that came the startling realization, the pulse appears to be reacting. 
In certain windows, it increased slightly after each of Voyager's data bursts, as if something responding and listening took place out there. One of the engineers working on decoding Voyager's latest transmissions made a curious observation when imagining the magnetic field variations as a three-dimensional model over time, a shape started to appear. It wasn't random. There was no noise. It looked like a spiral framework, repeated nearly flawlessly with symmetry. According to some, it may now be a gravitational lattice, a cosmic grid beyond our current understanding. Others go further, suggesting it could be the far-off signature of an artificial structure beyond our own solar system or even universe. Either way, it has no precedent in astrophysics, and yet it was directly traversed by Voyager 1. Voyager 1's onboard systems have been acting erratically, but not in the disruptive manner you would anticipate from an aged spacecraft. Its internal orientation sensors have started reporting opposing viewpoints simultaneously, as if the spacecraft exists in more than one coordinate space all at once. Even more bizarre, its signal exhibited minor but discernible variations in transmission speed, suggesting it may be passing through regions where the fabric of spacetime is distorted. This isn't just instrument decay. Some scientists are now quietly proposing that Voyager may have entered a region of variable dimensional space, a concept theoretical physicists once confined to chalkboards and blackboards. Now it's real, and Voyager is right in the middle of it. Voyager was never intended to leave the solar system when it was launched. Its main mission was to observe the gas giants and then simply drift. However, now, over for decades later, it's doing something far more profound, revealing the true shape of reality itself. What began as a trip between the planets has evolved into a journey into the unknown architecture of the universe. And here's the absurdity. The vehicle that carries the message from humanity to the cosmos, the golden record, may be the first to give one back in return. This was never supposed to happen with Voyager 1. It was launched with 1970s technology, powered by less computing power than a digital watch, and designed to study planets we thought we understood. But after 45 years, it is sending back data that is forcing Nobel Prize-winning researchers to reconsider the very nature of the entire world, a pulse that appears to reveal a hidden magnetic shape. A signal free of noise, spatial glitches that suggest multiple perspectives, and a journey that now seems less like a way out of our solar system and more akin to a meeting with something else, an ancient thing, something beyond physics, something watching. The spacecraft meant to be our ambassador to the stars may have found the edge of reality or, worse, something on its opposite side. So now we ask, is Voyager 1 still exploring space, or is it revealing that the space we believed we knew is already something else? Please inform us what you think in the comments. Has Voyager truly entered a brand new space? Or are we just beginning to see the first signs that we were never alone in space and time? Subscribe and turn on notifications because the next transmission from Voyager may be the message we've been waiting for since the dawn of time.